Dr. Lou George, Dr. Dennis Miller, Siouxland Oral Surgery. Gentlemen, good morning. Good Feliz morning, Navidad. Very nice. I didn't expect that out of you. <laughs> I taught that to my little girl the other day. <laughs> Took her about five tries. You know, also what we don't expect are emergencies during the holiday. And as we look at the, uh, the sands of the hourglass passing through before the end of the year, one of the things we know is people wondering if they did have an emergency during a holiday period. Can they get in? You know, kids have uh, their school holidays. you got uh, farmers that uh, have had their harvest, and they're not planting yet. There's a lot of reasons to consider this. What would you say? Well, our practice has always tried to take care of emergencies because we know that if we were in pain or infected or had a broken tooth and just needed someone to see us, that we would really appreciate that. So we we try very hard not to put anyone off. Our office policy is if you have an emergency or your dentist thinks you have an emergency, give us a call and we'll take care of it for you. Um, we do have to be careful on a couple of things to do our due diligence if you have a significant past medical history. You know, we've got to contact a medical doctor, a cardiologist, or if you have a kidney failure, liver failure, things like that we've got to be careful with. But the vast majority of people we can take care of in our office, a few, we have to go to either one of the major hospital centers and take care of them there. Uh, and the other thing is in certain patients, things hurt just too bad to do under just local anesthetic, and we do have to either sedate them or put them to sleep. And the only caveat to being able to do that on an emergency basis in the office setting uh, is whether or not you've had anything to eat or drink in the last eight hours. So if you have a broken tooth and you know it's hurting you and you want to be seen and you go and you have green eggs and ham an hour before you come and you want to go to sleep, that's probably not going to work. Um, we'll have to try it under just local or uh, which uh, in our line of work, let's face it, it's surgery. Sometimes that hurts. Uh, and if you want to get it done so it doesn't, then we have to put you to sleep. Then we have to delay it by about a day. But you can count on one hand how many times that, that happens. We try very hard to take care, care of everyone in a in a safe way from a medical standpoint and a humane way from a surgery standpoint so it's as pleasant as it could possibly be. That's right, Bill, because, you know, it, in our practice, it's very straightforward to us. There's no such thing as too busy. So if somebody needs to be seen, if somebody's having a problem, it doesn't matter what our day looks like. We, uh, uh, Dr. Miller and I, will find a way to make sure that they're seen, that their proper attention is uh, paid to all of their uh, medical details and to them, of course, as human beings, and to get it done for them, all right? And I can honestly state that, that no one else can really match that guarantee that we put out there, that it will get taken care of no matter what. So we really pride ourselves on that, and um, we'd like to really drive that home to the listeners. We wouldn't want to sit around in pain, and we don't expect a patient to either. You guys work very hard on your dental network. And we know that that dental network wants to make sure that they get the best, best care that they can. My guess is the majority of those, a part of the network, would say, uh, have you considered Siouxland oral surgery? Well, of course, I mean, we work hand-in-hand hand with uh, our referral base, and they're all our friends. So as friends, they'll give us a call on the phone and say, hey, you know, Louie or Dennis, can you can you help me out here? I've got this patient. I think they need to be seen right away for whatever reason that is, and but we'll take care of it for them. There's just no no ifs ands or buts about that. Absolutely, no. There's no there is no um, honestly circumstance I can think of where we wouldn't be willing to to see the patient, get them out of pain, um, and help our referral base out. I mean, the promises that we put forth to our referring uh, physicians and referring uh, dentists and uh, dental specialists uh, mean a lot to us. So when we put our word on something, we expect, uh, we hold ourselves to a higher standard maybe than anyone else will. So, you know, that's, that's something that, that we take very seriously, the trust that is put in us. Dr. Lou George, Dr. Dennis Miller, Siouxland Oral Surgery. And one of the things that uh, you guys have done is to bring in speakers. Make sure that uh, the dental network that you work with is kept up to date. Changes are always made, whether it's stem cell or it's something else. Those are things that are important, and you're making sure that the uh, the culture with dentists in this area 
is different. Right. And and one of the things, because we are surgically oriented, is the CE courses that we have. A lot of them are medical management. Uh, we're getting one coming up on anesthesia, um, sleep apnea. Um, we're going to have one on facial rejuvenation. Um, Botox, facelifts, and how dentistry and oral surgery fit into that in the wider medical field. But a lot of what we also talk about are the surgical aspects and one of the up-and-coming fields that we just see growing and growing and growing, uh, bigger and bigger demand for, is dental implants. Um, We're hosting a one- or two-day symposium in uh, April on uh, the restoration of dental implants, treatment planning, patient types, what can be done, what should be done, and definitely what should not be done. Uh, Because I think that as you come out of dental school, you're trained on the restorative aspects, but as you come out, you're not trained on any of the surgical aspects. That's what you go to oral surgery for. And I think it's important for the people that we work with to understand what are some of the problems that we encounter and have to think about before we even start from a surgical perspective. And that's all kind of wrapped up in the symposium. So um, we try to have about six CE courses uh, every year on different topics, but we kind of stick with this one on dental implants um, every year so that we can stay a abreast of the new and up-and-coming things because that field is is developing um, quite quickly. And that works very well to help uh, kind of share knowledge with our peers um, and basically they can educate us, we educate them, and uh, we work together as a team. And uh, that's one of the reasons also Dr. Miller and I always do um, free implant consultations at our offices so that we can educate the patient base too because we know you know they're, they're not going to show up to a, a five-hour symposium on the science behind dental implants but that's where we have them for that uh, you know 20 30 minutes in our office where we can sit down go go through all the different treatment plans with them that are options for them even ones that don't even concern us uh, but that way they they have the the full plate of information in front of them they know why we're recommending what we're recommending and uh, most patients decide they, they want to go forward. But even if they don't, now they leave the office with that information and uh, they can be better informed moving forward. 2017, about to shut the door. As we do, what new has happened this year that you'd like to share? Well, we're very positive about uh, our year as it's coming to an end. We've seen uh, an increased number of patients from all over the state and from other states, and so we'd like to say thank you to our referring dentists and uh, just word of mouth from other patients for uh, insisting that uh, uh, that your family members uh, be seen by uh, Dennis and I. That, that really means a lot to us. We've also been able to uh, break through uh, on, on some facets in the, uh, the sports industry. We've been, we've been very blessed to uh, have some professional athletes uh, decide to travel from the East Coast uh, and now uh, coming from the West Coast as well to come see us uh, for our um, our consultations and, and uh, surgery. So that's something that we're, we're very proud of just because it, it puts us on the, on the national map as well. And uh, Dr. Miller has something he would like to add to kind of going into next year. Yeah, going into next year, <clears throat> I think we had a segment on stem cells. So more and more people are beginning to ask those for their kids that didn't have a chance to bank their stem cells uh, from umbilical cord. Uh, the wisdom teeth and deciduous teeth seem to be a, a, a gold mine for stem cells uh, in that patient population that they can bank for future use. Um, so I think that that's a really nice up and coming field. You know, the hope is at some point over the next few decades, you, if you lost a tooth, you can just regrow it, uh, which would be good for people. But not really good for the dental implant industry, but that's okay. It's about people. Uh, the other thing, and along that same line, is that one of the newer things that's coming down on, on dental implants, we might have heard of all on four or all on six and teeth in a day. Those are, are great technologies. Uh, the all on four teeth in a day, it's made with a, a plastic denture that is bonded to four implants or sometimes six implants, and that works out nicely, but the problem is it's plastic, it's acrylic. So over time, you know, you're, you're pretty well buying a maintenance maintenance policy because it's going to break, the teeth chip off. It's just the material that needs some stronger material underneath it as a framework. So uh, 
couple of companies are coming out with things. The the best one is Noble BioCare, uh, which we tend to use the most of, that has a titanium bar that links three implants instead of four uh, through, of course, a proprietary process that they own. Uh, but you can use that as a substructure to place your uh, teeth on, and it's much, much stronger. And because all of these are um, commercial-grade, uh, industrial-grade parts that are made again and again and again, uh, the cost of that goes down uh, substantially. So moving into next year and the year after, uh, being able to offer uh, that kind of a service to people to lower the cost of uh, dental implant care and give them a better product at the same time, I think that's very exciting for us to do. Dr. Dennis Miller, Dr. Lou George, Siouxland Oral Surgery. If people need to reach you, how do they do it? Uh, they can give us a call or office, uh, 605-335-1080, and they should uh, watch the Bill show. Otherwise, they'll be on the naughty list with Santa. <gasps> no Feliz Navidad for them. Merry Christmas to you. <laughs> you can also check us out on our website, too, Bill, www.sulandoralsurgery.com. And uh, thanks to uh, our, the wonderful staff and advertising uh, a crew that we have working with us. Uh, we're all over Facebook, too, and... You can get to see the real us and kind of see what we're all about even before you uh, step in the door.